All right, it's been another great day in the Piedmont all day long. We are going to probably still see some more showers, but probably not quite as active as it was last night. 80 out there right now, 82 are hot today, 68 are low. You see the temperatures are in the low 80s this afternoon with some mid 70s on the northwest side. Satellite radar, we're seeing a little activity, but nothing impressive like we were at this time yesterday. There's a little bit more impressive line coming up through the mountains, and that's where it's more likely for there to be some stronger activity. The big weather story, of course, is Hurricane Helene. It's a storm with 85 mile per hour winds now, and the forecast is for it to go over that warm Gulf of Mexico and intensify up to a category 210 mile per hour storm at 2 a.m. tonight. And then by the time we get into tomorrow afternoon, well west of Tampa, 130 mile per hour category four, making landfall sometime tomorrow evening. And then by 2 a.m. tomorrow night, it's a cat one near Macon, Georgia. Back to a tropical storm as it goes through Atlanta and up into uh, Tennessee, east of uh, Nashville by Friday afternoon. Here's a look now. We've got rain showers coming through here now that were not related to the tropical system, but there's the big ball of water from the storm. That's going to be coming up here on Friday morning up through lunchtime into the early afternoon, and then it pulls away to the north, and the storm kind of spreads off toward the west, and you can see things looking a lot better by Friday evening. Rainfall for us, as you can see, close to two inches, and that's counting some of the rain before the tropical system gets here. Mountains a lot, but when you break it down into a high resolution product, some mountain areas could see over a foot of rain. Basically, anywhere along and west of Interstate 77 is where the rain is going to be the heaviest and most uh, impressive. As you look at the wind speeds with the storm, you can see on Friday morning the winds start to pick up by 7 a.m. in Charlotte to 47 and try it close to 30. We may see gusts 40 to 45, Charlotte probably 50 to to 55 and then those winds start to get focused more off to our west and things will start settling down during the day. So here in the Piedmont, two inches in the triad, six inches on the western side of the Piedmont, but once you get into western foothills and mountains, it picks up more. Winds of 10 to 25 sustained with gusts of 35 to 45. An isolated tornado threat. It is low threat, but nonetheless a threat. And we've got to watch out for down trees and some power problems. And there's the front that's holding everything back. This will keep coming up north and push the front back a little bit. But once we get into late Friday, our problems will begin to diminish and we'll start looking better. Our beach is 82 and 84 degrees with a good chance of seeing some showers and possible thunderstorms on Friday. But our beaches will likely be seeing maybe one to two inches of rain. This is more of a mountain impact storm. Mountains will see some heavy rain on Friday and 68 and likely some flooding up there. Our forecast in the Piedmont this evening, mostly cloudy, a chance for a shower or thunderstorm and overnight down to 69 degrees. And then tomorrow we're going for a high of 76 with some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Here's your extended outlook. That chance jumps to 90% Friday and then comes crashing down Saturday, a better day. Then rain chances up to 40% Sunday, Monday, very light rains. And then really nice weather starts Tuesday and Wednesday. And once that comes in, it may be hanging around for a while, a really nice stretch ahead. I'll have more on that also in just a few minutes. All right, Van.